Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are here in SEC Lincoln. My name's Philip Kaufman. I'm joined by the one, the only. Addie Bickford. There we go. <laughs> here we are for the championship, girls' championship, between Malcolm and Weeping Water. Should be a great game. I saw both of these teams play. They're both fantastic teams, and I think it'll be a very good game to watch here. Got two minutes and 38 seconds before they get started. We also have another game going on tonight. Yeah, so this game's going to be particularly very good. Malcolm, very good opponent, number one in the ECNC. They're 18-0 and 0 right now, so having a great season. I believe they're um, in one of the ratings, they're number one in C1. So, okay. yeah, definitely good. Um, Weeping Water, they're a good team, too. I definitely... The rec 17 and 4 record doesn't reflect it as much, but they're definitely a good team. So I think this game will be very interesting tonight. Agreed on that. I recognize some names for Malcolm over here from uh, like the boys' team. A couple of them here and there might be related. Yeah, so uh, from Thursday night, who from Malcolm did. Stand, stood out to you. Ooh, from Malcolm. Uh, let me find their numbers here. Definitely 25. I would have to agree. Emma Brown. She did a fantastic job. She's especially since she's got height on everybody too. She's able to really boss some people around down in the paint. Yeah, I would have to agree. Definitely, that's something Weeping Water's gonna have to look out for. Uh, Alyssa Fordick. I think she is gonna yep. be definitely a player to watch. Yeah, th those are definitely the top two players in my opinion, for Malcolm. Yes. For Weeping Water, I believe it's going to be Grace K. Okay, yeah, that, that's a given. <laughs> it's the player I think you're going to have to stop. And I think Reagan Aronson, Jamie, and Toomey, when they get on fire out in the three-point range, I think they're hard to stop too. So yeah, and like, like you mentioned the other night when uh, Weeping Water was playing, Reagan Aronson, she, she kind of had a dry spell. Yeah, I would agree. And we, we were talking about how that changes between games, so we'll have to see how that goes. We're going to go ahead and let them do their little announcements here and the anthem. We'll see you guys here in a bit. At this time, we request you please rise and the gentlemen are moving their caps as we honor America with our national anthem. Individuals in uniform, as well as veterans and members of the armed forces who are present but not in uniform, may render the military salutes.
All right, here we are. We have Grace Cave for Weeping Water jumping. And number 25, Emma Brown jumping for Malcolm. They've got some music going on tonight. <laughs> kind of makes me want to party. It's a good environment for sure. Both, both sides are filled on the bleachers. It's going to be a good night, I think. Agreed there. Weeping Water able to win the jump. Ball in the hands of Grace Cave. Whooping water, trying to find an open woman. It's tipped, that goes out of bounds. It'll stay, weeping water. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Rother. He's bailed us out twice <laughs> now for ECNC. Uh, Thursday, our van broke down. That's a story for when we have some time later. <laughs> <laughs> that shot's missed. Malcolm moving up with it. And he also drove a bus here today. Oh, wow. He's our superintendent at Johnson County Central. Well, what a guy. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> Good block by the Indians. He's bailed me out three times. Heck, he gave me a ride to the hotel that the wrestling team was staying at last night. Wow, well, he sounds super nice. He is. <laughs> Malcolm trying to find somebody. Able to avoid the five-second rule there. Passes oh, back to the corner, 24. Three points up. Misses. Grace Cave with the rebound. Pass it up, number 11, puts it up, scores, Reba Wilson, 4-2. That's something that if a Grace Cave is able to do, she'll do it. I don't think we got to see that a lot um, Thursday night with Auburn, but if it's there, she'll definitely try it. Emma Brown with a nice easy bucket. Two long passes for Weeping Water. And then that one's tipped. I think that's Alyssa Fordick. Some good dribble moves, passes it out. Pump fake, puts it up, drains it. Number 24, Diamond, Diamond Sedlak. That's an interesting name, Diamond. Yes, definitely for sure. That ball's out of bounds. Looks like it'll stay weeping water. I, see, I think tonight we're going to see both teams pressing until that might change with fouls or whatever may happen. But, yeah, we're going to see a lot of press tonight. A lot of good defense for sure. Grace Gabe for three. Misses. Oh, loose ball. Weeping water able to regain. Grace Gabe has the ball now. That goes out. Looks like Malcolm will have it. Yep. Weeping Water in a full court press. Try and pressure the ball a little bit. See if they can get this trap. Decide not to go for it. Kind of unable to with the speed of Alyssa Fordick. Number 24 for three. Misses. Malcolm able to get the ball back. Puts it up again at the free throw line. Number five. That would be Jocelyn Small. Malcolm gets the ball yet again, puts it up, misses. That one goes out of bounds. That will be out on Malcolm. It'll be Indian ball. I don't think the Indians have faced this good of a pressing team this season, so definitely going to challenge them tonight for sure. Three-point basket on the way. And that's rebounded by the Indians. But foul is called. And they call that foul number 14, Ashlyn Sehi, which it would be her first foul. Yeah, Malcolm is undefeated at the moment. And these two teams have faced off once before, December 18th of 2020. Well, speaking of facing off, this is a little deja vu for the conference tournament because this is actually the two teams who went at it last year for the championship. So they've seen each other before in this type of environment. Three-point basket was good by number two, Jameson Toomey.
Indians did a good job of rebounding that ball, and they're on their way down the court. Whew. Nice move from Grace <laughs> K for two. Good down pass. Indians did a good job stopping Malcolm on that possession. No foul called. Looks like maybe number 20, Jordan Denton with a nice block. I want a camera over in that crowd. Somebody's wearing a, what seems to be a cow onesie West, with an oh, udder. Oh, yeah, Western theme tonight. So definitely you see a lot of cowboys, but <laughs> the cow is a little different. I like that though. <laughs> Six to 10 is the score as a team takes a timeout here. Indians, I believe, take, took the 30-second timeout. I believe they did. It's been an energetic first quarter so far. For sure. Back and forth. It's almost halfway done here. And I feel like this is going to stay like this this entire mat, or this entire game. Going to be I back and be forth surprised. all night. Oh, I need to sit down. <laughs> I had a wrestling meet today. My legs are killing me. Malcolm keeping the energy up. Passes up to Emma Brown. Football pass. <laughs> that was good defense by Reva Wilson, deflecting the ball to not let them score. They get it down to the post. Emma Brown puts it up, misses. Weeping Water with the ball now, pushing it up court. That ball is off Malcolm. So Weeping Water will keep it now. They're able to get the ball in. Reagan Aronson with the ball, pass it over number two. Misses the three. Carly Ridge gets the rebound. Three point basket on the way. Drains it. Reagan Aronson for three. Yeah, like we said at the beginning of the game, this was going to be huge if those two players were able to beyond tonight, and so far it seems like they are. That two-point basket was good by number 14, Ashlyn Seahy for the Clippers. Grace Cave draws the foul. She's gonna have a good game, I can see it already. I feel like we're gonna say number 23 on both ends a lot tonight <laughs> with Indeed. Alyssa Fordick and Grace Cave. Definitely key contributors for both teams. That'll go for Malcolm now. Staying, pressuring the ball. A full court press here. Making Malcolm work a little more. Screen set there. Nice Euro step from number five, Jocelyn Small for two. Malcolm gets the ball back. Good tip by the Indians to get the ball back. Malcolm with the ball now. Gets it to the corner. Throws it up top Three of the key. Three-point basket on the way. Nails it, number 13, Jasmine Small. 
Malcolm in a full court press too now. Indians get out of it, looking trying looking for a score. Three point basket on the way. No good. Malcolm rebounds. It'll be Malcolm Ball. So the other night we talked about why Grace Cave has those what appears to be rubber bands. Oh yes, I have the answer for you that. You do. I did. I had many people wondering. So for you at home, I have the answer. So I asked her, and it's supposed to substitute Ooh, for like. Oh, Grace Cave. Hold up. <gasps> gets her own rebound and draws the foul. So it it's a substitute for those patella bands underneath your knees. It basically does the same thing, she said. Okay. And I was like, really, pre-wrap like works? And she said, yeah, she does it tight enough that she says she feels loose and her knees uh, feel good after every game. So. Well, that's good. Yeah, so there's your answer for everybody out there. There's some nice broken ankles over there yes. from Malcolm. Nice dribble move, got somebody on their butt, and then Grace Cave got the ball and was able to draw a foul after a second attempt. Grace Cave sinks both of her free throws. Just over a minute left in the first quarter. Here it comes. Grace Cave with it. <laughs> Draws the foul. Now just under a minute left here. That's Alyssa Fordick's second foul. That's going to be rough for the Clippers. They're going to have to play without one of their best players. Chris Cave holding the ball, trying to waste some time. Looks like they're maybe going to try to do one more play to end the quarter. They want Malcolm to come out and meet them. Malcolm not sure what they want to do. They don't want to leave the player open. They don't, don't want to just rush Grace Cave either. That's a dangerous thought. Ooh. Grace Cave has both small sisters on her, though. <laughs> 14 seconds. They've held it for almost a minute now. And they'll be going soon. Oh, Malcolm tipped it. Grace Cave throws it back in to number two. Misses a three-point attempt. Malcolm has that it now. Didn't have enough time to throw it up. Very good attempt, though, by the Indians. Tried to recover. And that ends your first quarter. Indians lead 15 to 13. We're going to go ahead and take a commercial break here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in a bit. Just down the street, there's a hardware store with great tools, products, and expert advice. <laughs> We've got everything you need. Because we know the community. And we know our customers. So next time, next weekend, or whenever you have a home improvement project, drop by. Y'all come see us. Come on down. Stop in to your local True Value hardware store for all the right tools, products, and local advice. True Value. Start right. Start here. And we are back here in Tecumseh, Nebraska. Over there you see Malcolm's uh, <laughs> student section. If you, if you zoom in a little bit, there is a guy with an Indiana Jones looking hat that has a cow outfit <laughs> on. You get to see, you see a little bit of the udder there. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to ask him where he got that outfit <laughs> from. Yes, for sure stylish. And you love to see like kids wearing their masks using bandanas, creative way. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, the very creative way. To use their way. theme. Very energized student section for sure. Weeping Water has a good student section over here, too. Grace Cave got a Loose hand on the ball. ball. Malcolm 
Malcolm with a long pass. Three-point basket on the way. Woo! Alyssa Vordick makes it. Those are her first points of the night, I believe. So hope maybe she'll be warming up. Carly Ridge dribbles it down the court. You know, people used to say basketball is a game of height, but that's not all true. Yeah, I would have to agree for sure. Because Alyssa Ford, she usually does pretty good on the floor, and she looks to be pretty short, maybe just over five foot or so. That one's missed. Malcolm with the rebound. There was a guy in the NBA back in the day. Uh, his name was Muggsy Bogues. I think he was like <laughs> five, five, six, I want to yeah. say. Five, six, five, seven. And he was able to dunk. Wow, that's some yeah. hops then right there. Yeah, he, he was an absolute beast of a player too. And one of the shortest. Malcolm gets its rebound. Has it down. Gets it to Emma Brown. Woo. Call a foul, I believe, on the Indians. Yeah, I think so. I'll be number 11, Reba Wilson. That's the Indians' first team foul. Malcolm has two, and two of their players have two. Ashlyn C.I. and Alyssa Fordick, both starters for their team. Woo. Alyssa Fordick steals it. Oh. Indians get the ball back. Malcolm not able to make that shot there. That was a nice play by Alyssa Fordick to get her team open. Agreed. Foul called there, and Jameson Toomey. Alyssa Fordick bringing up the ball, just passing half court. Malcolm passing around, gets Going it down, down to the, the post. Big girl. Gets around the rebound, puts it back for two. Emma Brown. They almost, Malcolm wanted to travel on that <laughs> one. I don't think she quite walked with it, but. Let's see what the Indians do. Three point on the way. Malcolm gets the rebound. Looks like Malcolm's going to take a 30 second timeout. We're going ahead and take a timeout with him. We'll see you in a bit. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. And we are back here in Lincoln at SCC. Once again, my name's Philip Kaufman. I'm joined by Addie Bigford. Yes. 18-15 <laughs> is the score so far. I don't know what song this is, but I like it. Yes, it definitely has a good... <laughs> makes you want to dance for sure. <laughs> I will dance at every opportune moment. <laughs> Just saying that. If we feel like it tonight, we may have a dance cam go on. Ooh. Dance cams are fun. Malcolm passing the ball around. Three-point basket on the way. Malcolm gets the second chance. Two point basket. That's good by number 24, Diamond Sedlak.
Three-point basket on the way. That's good by number zero, Reagan Aronson. Fouls called on the Indians. I believe that's going to be on number two, Jamison Toomey. Got three minutes and 41 seconds left here. Scores 2018. Malcolm in the lead. Two point basket on the way. Rebounded by the Clippers. Woo. Nice shot there. Didn't make Another it though. Another chance by the Clippers. That's not. They almost Indian, have it again, maybe. Indians fun. Ah, oh, reach called. That's going to be Alyssa. For, that's her third foul of the first half. Whoa, that is not looking good for Malcolm. You might, we might not see her for the rest of this half. Indians able to break the press break. Three point on the, rebounded by Grace Cave. She gets the bucket, two points for her. Guess you could maybe say Reagan purposely did that and it was a pass. <laughs> that, that's what I always say when I play basketball. <laughs> for sure. I always just say it was a nice long pass. Jamison Toomey gets her second foul of the night. Game's tied up 20 to 20. Passes that ball out, passes it to the corner. Then post out Three to the top of the on key. The way. It'll be Indian ball. Scores all tied up 20 20. Oh, this is weird. Got. Score a 20-20 with two minutes and 22 seconds left. <laughs> a lot of twos. Good pass by Grace Cave. And they're going to call a foul on the Lady Clippers. It's going to be on number 20, Jordan Denton, her first foul. Still 2020. We've been water with the ball. With a little over two minutes left. Passes over the corner, shoots it. It's an air ball. Malcolm's able to get it though. Less than a minute now. Call that one on Reba Wilson. That's her second foul. <laughs> Malcolm has the ball. Pulls up. Oh, maybe a pass. It'll stay. Welcome to inball the ball. Wide open for three misses. Weeping Water gets the ball. Minute 15 left. Grace K with the ball. Looks like they're gonna try and waste this minute. Unless they get a free shot like that. Misses. Malcolm with the ball now. Nice shot by Reagan Aronson. 
Just couldn't get it to fall. Malcolm pushing it up despite the Fast break. Numbers. Let's see what happens. Grace Cave a little slow to get up on that one. Grace Indians. Cave with the rebound. Ooh. Back and forth. All they have been back and forth for a while now. 20 seconds left. I think now's when they're going to do the <laughs> last play. <laughs> Try to go into the locker room with a lead. We'll it's see. Been stuck at 20 20 for a while. It has, for sure. Oh. Malcolm with the ball. Four, three, two. Loses control. One. They call a foul. Foul called. 0.8 seconds left. Lexi Mogensen with that foul. This is Malcolm's chance to get a few points. They're going to have to be quick, though. 0.8 seconds left. They have enough for a pass out to the floor and then a shot. That's yep. it. Shot up real fast. Lester Fordick with the ball, pulls up, won't count. And that's your first half, ladies and gentlemen. Scores tied up 20-20. I'd like to remind you here at halftime, we will play a ECNC conference video for volleyball and cross country. We'll have that going for you guys here in a little bit. Thank you very much for watching JCC Strive.
My name is Chris Worth. I'm a diesel tech at Truck Center Companies, Lincoln, Nebraska. I've been here for nine months now, and I was kind of worried about coming to a bigger shop in a bigger city, but I mean, this is a big shop with kind of a smaller town environment. It was really easy to transition from the school environment to the shop environment. I mean, all the guys here are really friendly, and if I had any questions, they weren't afraid to help me. I think the biggest part for me of wanting to work here was talking to some of the guys and they pretty much told me that the sky was the limit. I mean, there's all sorts of trainings you can do and it just never stops. And that's why I wanted to come and work here. And we're back here in Lincoln at SCC. Thank you once again, SCC, for letting us play S or ECNC, <laughs> excuse me, yes. here. Yes. Once again, my name is Philip Kaufman. I'm joined by Addie Bickford and the rest of the Strive crew tonight. We have the stats here for you for the first half. The score is tied up 20-20. With Weeping Water, we've got Reagan Aronson with six points, Carly Ridge with three, Reba Wilson with two, and Grace Cave with nine. And then for Malcolm, you have Jocelyn Small with four, Jasmine Small three, Ashlyn Seahigh two, Alyssa Fordick three, Diamond Sedlak four, Emma Brown four. So Malcolm's had a balanced attack for the most part tonight. And the Indians have two, but definitely um, Malcolm had to have a lot more players in uh, scoring. With Malcolm, though, Malcolm is also having some couple players in foul trouble. Uh, one to note, Alyssa Fordick, she has three fouls. So she's definitely going to have to watch out for that in the second half. And Ashlyn Seahigh has two for the Clippers. So she'll have to watch out for that. And for the Indians, Jameson Toomey and Reba Wilson also have two. It's been an energetic first half. And close. <laughs> yeah, it has. <laughs> but definitely a very good game of basketball for sure. Yeah, I think it'll remain close for the rest of the game tonight. We'll have to see how it ends up. Yes, nobody else you'd rather want in the championship. Yeah, these two teams have faced off once before, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, Malcolm, they are undefeated so far this season. And Weeping Water did face them earlier on. And they, Weeping Water actually lost with a score of 43-29. to 29. Yeah, they, I uh, wasn't at that game, but I heard about it. And I definitely don't think Weeping Water was having a good night that night. <laughs> but so they're looking to have a little bit of revenge for this conference title, so it'll be interesting to see how the second half plays out. Got 30 seconds here, both teams are talking about what their game plans are. If you guys have anywhere to go for the next few days, be careful. I think it's supposed to snow once yes, again. For, yes, for sure. Okay, let's start some ECNC second half basketball. <laughs> Looks like Weeping Water will start out with the ball. Weeping Water with a lot of passing. A lot of quick passes, hoping to get somebody open. Three-point three. basket. Malcolm fans wanted to foul there. Blocked. Weeping Water with it now. Grace Cave out in the front. Passes it up to number two. Misses. Jameson Toomey will be heading to the line, though. Looks like that foul is going to be possibly on number five, Jocelyn Small. Indeed it was. Makes the first. That's our first of the game, too. Or not first of the game, excuse me. 
And she drains her second free throw. Indians still out in their press break. That's not her first, excuse me. She had a three in the first half. Dawson Small goes coast to coast, drains a two, two point layup. Malcolm with the trap, manages the Indian to turn over the ball. Oh, there's a lot of twos on the board now. It's 22 to 22. <laughs> if only it was 2022. Yeah. Or 22 22. That's going to be weird. Three point on the way. It's going to be Indian ball. Water passing around. A little bit of a wild pass there, went out of bounds. going to be Malcolm Ball going down the court. Turnover by the Clippers, Grace Cave. A push called. It's going to be her second foul. Jasmine, or Jocelyn Small, I believe. She's really starting to rack them up here in the second half. Early second half. See if the Indians can manage to score some points in this drive. Clippers get the ball to go down the court. Pulls up for three, drains it. Number five of Malcolm Jocelyn Small for three. I must say, Philip, we haven't really heard a lot about Emma Brown, though, tonight. So you got to give credit to the Indian defense for playing good defense on her and not letting her score, because I feel like that's how Malcolm got a majority of their points on Thursday night in that semifinal game. Agreed. She, she was an absolute monster. I think she had 17, if I'm not wrong. S yep, for sure. Three-point basket on the way. Misses that one. Malcolm gets a chance at it again. Draws it small with another two. Foul. Timeout called from Weeping Water. We'll go ahead and take a break. We'll see you here in a bit. Thank you very much for watching JCC Strive. Just down the street, there's a hardware store with great tools, products, and expert advice. <laughs> We've got everything you need. Because we know the community. And we know our customers. So next time, next weekend, or whenever you have a home improvement project, drop by. Y'all come see it. Come on down. Stop in to your local True Value hardware store. For all the right tools, products, and local advice. True Value. Start right. Start here. We are back here in Lincoln at SCC. Malcolm just got a little bit of jump on the score. All the points so far this half coming from Jocelyn Small. Pretty sure, I think all the fouls too. She's <laughs> all over the board. I would agree. <laughs> Definitely someone you wanna keep a good defender on, for sure. She's in the corner, misses a three. Emma Brown puts it back up for two. 
She's got six on the night now. Indians take it down the court. And Indians turn over the ball, so it'll be Clipper ball. Three point up. Not gonna be able to keep control of it. That one went out. It'll be Indian ball after a couple chances by the Clippers. We're gonna call a foul. Jocelyn Small, that's her third. Yeah, she's, besides Eva Brown, she's been on the scoreboard both points and <laughs> fouls for the Clippers. Ooh, a no look pass. Grace Cave a little annoyed there that she wasn't able to finish. That was a beautiful pass though, the no Yeah, pass. it's definitely frustrating when you're, well Malcolm's gone on a 9-2 run and so it's definitely frustrating. You just wanna ha have your teammates be successful, that's for sure. Grace Cave really showing some leadership out there. Nice steal. Grace Cave going down the court. Tries to draw the foul. Refs disagreed. Block called. The energy in this gym is absolutely crazy right now. They're gonna call that foul on Carly Ridge. Weeping Water is yet to score so far in this. Right, no, they've scored once, just once now. Melissa Fornick with the free throw. Malcolm's crowd has the hands in the air. I wonder where that started. Some spirit fingers. <laughs> Malcolm will get the ball back after the Indians couldn't grab the ball on the rebound. They called a timeout to avoid the five second call. The score is 30 to 22 with two minutes and 55 seconds left here in the third quarter. Malcolm really starting to get ahead here. Most of those points did come, come from Jocelyn Small. If you're uh, the Indians, what would you be saying in the timeout right now? To just start playing some basketball. Yeah. They haven't had much of an offense so far in the third quarter. Just one spark's all they need, I feel like. They definitely just need to find find some type of rhythm, and they'll, I think they'll get into it, but they, they got to stop it now before Malcolm gets away with it too far. Agreed. Yeah, whoever's the DJ tonight, they're doing a good job. Indeed they are. <laughs> Grace Cave with another steal. Sadly got it back to a Malcolm defender. A nice effort by her. That one's missed, Malcolm gets it right back, puts it up, misses again. Weeping Water getting a hold of the ball. Here comes Grace Cave down the court. She's gonna take it. Two point basket for Grace Cave. That was impressive, up and over a defender and then puts it in. Yes, hopefully that's the spark that the Indians use to get their offense going. Push called on Grace Cave. And I gotta admit, probably one of the biggest driving factors for Malcolm right now is the crowd. Yes, definitely. If you play in a high environment, especially for it being your team, I feel like you're going to play a lot better. Grace Cave racked up her second foul of the night. That bounced off the foot. It's going to be Indian ball. 
You know, if I ever re start like refereeing games and stuff, I'm definitely gonna be the one that tries to put a little bit of extra, like, shazazz points on my <laughs> call. Definitely like uh, Coach Bleach. You ever have him ref at JCC? Uh, I don't know. If you showed me a picture, I'd probably recognize oh, him. Oh, Coach! I know people at Weaver know who Coach Bleach. He's a he's a legend, but he definitely is one of those that puts a little pizzazz in the game. And likes, he just likes to have some fun, and I love that for him. Let's afford it with three missed. They have the ball back, though. Shoots it up for two. Misses. Outside three point. Drives in. Throws it back out. Malcolm still in control of the ball. Minute and 27 left. Drive. Alyssa Fordick for two. Minute 14 left in this ha in this quarter. Good pass by Grace Cave. And Reva Wilson draws the foul. Call that foul on number 14, Ashlyn Seahide. That's her third of the night. That was a screech and a half for Malcolm. Reba Wilson drains her first free throw. Has she ever worn like a Reba Wilson wig or something like that? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'll, I would best. Halloween costume. <laughs> For sure. Makes both of them. That was almost a nice reach by Cave. She's definitely a good player. Let's Fordick moving up court. Puts up the ball. Easy for two. No look pass. Back out, drives in, puts it up, misses. Looks like possibly a hand got on that one by Reagan Aronson. 40 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Grace Cave going down the floor. What Two point basket, animal. good. She has great focus on the court too. Yeah, it's definitely good vision. Knows, knows where her teammates are at all times. kind of leading both the offense and defense too. That's two. That's the end of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Malcolm leads 36 to 28. And that's the end of the third quarter, she said. So we'll be going into the fourth here soon. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you very much for watching JCC Strive. back here and there's a Malcolm crowd they went with a some kind of cowboy or farmer theme there lots of cowboy hats lots of boots <laughs> I, I don't I don't like the jorts and boot combo though yeah the jorts definitely 
It's not that type of weather. <laughs> no. I do love the pink cowboy hat, though. Oh, and yeah, the first it's got some row. sparkles on it. Yep. Oh, yeah. De yep, we can see the sparkles from here. It looks super good. I think they have pit vipers on, too. Pit <laughs> vipers are awesome. Those, I have a pair yep. myself. Yep, those are coming back. Or not coming back, but those are in style now. They are style. <laughs> three point That's on the way. For three, it drains it. That was a nice fake pass from Grace Cave. Didn't make the three though. Clippers going down the court now. We've been watered down by 11. Travel called on the Clippers. It'll be Indian ball. Water trying to run their plays now. Malcolm with the ball. Looks like it hit somebody's foot and went out. So It'll be we Indian water. ball. Nice try by Carly Rich, just couldn't get it in. Two point basket good by number five, Jocelyn Small. She has nine already in the second half. Fouls called on number 14, Ashlyn Seahy. That's her fourth on the night. Grace Cave with the ball, puts it up, drains it. Two point basket by Grace Cave. Three point on the way. Oh, it just barely misses that. Jump ball. I think this is the first one called so far today, yeah, too. Yeah, there hasn't been much. 41-30 is the score. Indians get it. Grace Cave up, and it's good. Two points for Grace Cave. Grace Cave keeps this up. She's going to single-handedly bring the score back. Nobody went out to meet the, def the offense there. Two for Jocelyn Small. She's having a great game tonight. Bad pass led to Malcolm having it now. Pulls three up point three, on the way. Drains it. You, oh man. Timeout called. Whew. I think I need a little bit of time to cool <laughs> down here. We're going to go ahead and go to a commercial. Forty-six thirty-two is the score here. Got four minutes and fifty seconds left here. Pictures with the medals, you can do that in the comments 
Malcolm has five fouls at the moment, and Luke Water with three. Still a very winnable game for Mount, or Weeping Water, excuse me. They just really need to start playing well. Yes, yeah, not out of reach for, for sure, but Indians just got to show up this next four minutes and they'll be able to. Looks Tur like Malcolm Ball. Yep, turnover by the Indians. Drives in, misses. Rebounded by the Indians. Good pass by Grace Cave. Oh my Lord. Two point basket for Reba Wilson. And you mentioned she's going to play at UNO, right? UNO, yes, that would be correct. She will definitely be a good player for them. Yes. Emma Brown with the two point basket. I'm going to hand on it. It'll be Indian ball. Both sides are doing pretty well here, but since Weeping Water's down, they're going to have to get more defensive stops in order to catch back up. Got three minutes and 43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Three point on the way. It'll be Clipper ball. Malcolm moving the ball around, trying to waste some time while trying to get some more scores. Good Makes take by the Clippers, they get the rebound. Les Fordick gets it again, puts it up, draws the foul. Grace Cave gets her third foul of the night. Misses the first one. Alyssa Fordick has been having a fantastic game so far. She only had three in the first quarter, but in the second quarter, she's been really racking them up. Yeah, unofficially, we have I have 11 points for her in this second half. And also to add, Alyssa Fordick got her third foul with 2.09 left in the second quarter, and she's I she hasn't got one yet, so she's done a good job of playing both defense and offense for the Clippers this half. 
Okay, the DJ is really doing good now, playing some Metallica. Malcolm's got a wave going on. Metallica, such a great band. <laughs> oh, I cut it off right before the break. Dang. The clipper ball just come out of the timeout. <laughs> Malcolm Ball. Er, nope, weeping water, excuse me. Grace Cave with the ball. Bounces off the foot. Malcolm got down on the floor and got the ball. Grace Cave for two. Forty-eight thirty-six, with a minute thirty-six left in the fourth quarter here. Weeping Water is going to have to play astonishingly, aston astonishingly. Is that a word? I don't think, <laughs> I, that's a think word. I, I don't know. Astonishingly, yeah, that's a word. Isn't yeah, it? I, I think it is. I believe so. Anyway, they got to play well. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm has it now. I'll try and waste as much time as possible, fouls Malcolm, to really secure the victory. Nice screen. Let's afford to bring it in, making it again. She just walks right through the defense. Weeping Water pulls up, misses. Malcolm gets the ball back, 40 seconds left. It's not looking too good for Weeping Water. 50 to 36. Grace Cave gets her fourth foul of the night. I think it's pretty safe to say that Malcolm's gonna come away with this one. 30 seconds left, they're gonna let the clock run down. I like Grace Cave's competitiveness though, she hasn't given up yet. And this Indian team won't give up until the very last. Push called. I'm gonna call that one on number three, Carly Ridge. 16.5 seconds. Let's see if Alyssa Forda can make even more points. Not that she hasn't gotten enough already. I'm going to have Metallica stuck in my head all night now. <laughs> Fifty-two thirty-six. I invite you to stick around because we're going to have an exclusive interview with the coach of Malcolm. Got five seconds left now. They're going to let the clock run out. Malcolm with the win, fifty-two thirty-eight. The final score. That's an absolutely fantastic game. Ladies and gentlemen, your ECNC girls basketball champions, Malcolm. They played a beautiful game. 
A beautiful game indeed. I don't believe my stats are correct here, so I'll give you the stats later after the coach's interview. But I can tell you right now, two of Malcolm's biggest scorers were Alyssa Fordick and Jocelyn Small. They both have, I believe, over 10. Both. All righty. We're going to go ahead and go down to the coach's interview now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm Addie Bickford, and I'm here with the Malcolm uh, Lady Clippers head coach, Andy Klepper. Coach, congrats on your conference win. Uh, so what did you do to prepare for the Sweeping Water team? Well, really, we only had one practice, but luckily we know each other pretty well. We played in last year's championship game. So, I mean, we're pretty familiar with their players, what they try to do. So that was, that was easy, a little bit easier this time around since we knew them. Uh, we just tried to really prepare for Grace Cave. You know, she's a D1 athlete, uh, just a heck of a basketball player. She makes that team so much better. And then some of their role players really stepped up for them tonight and were hitting shots. So it was not an easy task for sure. Yeah. So uh, obviously come out with a conference win, but what do you think your players overall did really well? Well, I'm just glad, you know, last year we had them down about 10 going to the fourth quarter. So I'm just so proud of the girls for finishing, you know. So, you know, like individual basketball play tonight, thought we took care of it till, till the very end. We kind of turned it over a little bit, uh, but we just competed. That was the, the main thing, just get out there and compete as best we could. And uh, just so happy for those girls to be able to finish it this time. Uh, Sub-district's coming up, postseason. What are you going to do to keep your team focused? Uh, that's, good. that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to take it one day at a time, one game at a time. We have some tough competition coming up here. Uh, it's going to really test us for sub-district play. Um, so that'll be kind of our main focus, just finish the season strong. Uh, we're unbeaten right now, uh, but right now we just want to continue to try to get the best seed that we can for postseason. Uh, I believe that's it. Thank you so much, Thank and you. congrats on your conference you title. Job, Thank man. you. <laughs> Thank you, Addie Bickford, for that one. That was a good interview. Once again, Malcolm came out with that win, a pretty good win against uh, Weeping Water. Final score, 52 to 38. I'd like to have you guys stick around because we do have another game coming up after this one. That one starts at 8, I believe. So I hope to see you guys then. Thank you very much for watching JCC Strive. Once again, my name's Philip Kaufman. I was joined by Addie Bickford commentating and the rest of the Strive crew. Stay healthy, stay safe, have a great night.